friends, it's Sean with iWashYouDry.com and today I am so excited because we are going to be making my Instant Pot Shrimp Boil. You guys, this recipe comes together in minutes and it's such a no-brainer recipe. You are going to fall in love. I can't wait to show you. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is start collecting all of our ingredients, which I am using one and a half pounds of baby red potatoes. And I am also using three ears of corn. This is fresh corn. You can also use frozen corn, that's totally fine. And I'm just gonna cut these in half. I'm gonna just run my knife along it like this, just till it's kind of scored, and then I'll easily be able to snap it in half like that. So juicy. Oh. <sighs> Love summer corn. <laughs> All right. We are also using just 13 ounces of andouille sausage, and this is Cajun seasoned or styled andouille sausage. And I am just gonna cut it into two inch segments. And that's all we gotta do for that. Have two pounds of, this is called super colossal shrimp. They are massive. Um, and I have them frozen with the tails and shells on. This is just because I feel like a shrimp boil is all about eating with your hands and getting in there. And so I'm just using these ones and we're using two pounds. If you wanted to use smaller ones, that's totally fine and up to you. As with any Instant Pot recipe, you have to have water to build or liquid to build that pressure in the Instant Pot. So I am starting with one and a half cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of hot sauce and three teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning. Now this has a little bit of a kick to it, so if you want it a little less spicy, you can reduce the amount, but I find that three teaspoons is perfect. So we're gonna whisk that together. Now let's get everything loaded up into our Instant Pot. So I'm gonna take that one and a half pounds of baby red potatoes, just add those in there. My corn. sausage as well. Layer that in there. And if you wanted softer onions, you can add your onions right now. I like my onions to have a little bit more bite to them, so I'm gonna add them later with the shrimp because the last thing you wanna do is overcook shrimp, right? It's just rubbery and gross. So that gets thrown in at the last little bit. I'm gonna pour our sauce over the top. Sweet. And that's it guys. I'm gonna throw the lid on and we're gonna put this at high pressure with the vent closed in the sealing position for just five minutes. So as with all Instant Pot recipes, it's going to take some time for the pressure to build in here. Once it builds, it'll count down to five minutes. Then we will do a quick release. So we just gotta wait. All right, time is up. Let's go ahead and release that pressure. That always scares me. <laughs> Woo. All right, go ahead and quickly pop in your frozen shrimp, as well as those onions, if you didn't already do that. Just throw those in there. And the quicker you can get your lid back on, put it back onto sealed, the quicker it'll cook. So I'm gonna cancel that. Then I'm gonna turn it back on and we're gonna cook it for just one minute. We're gonna let it build back up to pressure, do a quick release, and then we're done. All right, we're ready for the final release. Woo! <laughs> really loud. Once the little red plunger plunges down, then you know that the pressure has been released and it is safe to open. There it went. All right. Ooh, look at that. Perfectly cooked shrimp. Wow, it smells amazing. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pour all of this into my handy little serving platter. 
liquid and all. Ooh, it's hot. Look at that, guys. Oh, wow, that looks so good. Sausage, potatoes, corn, shrimp, onions. Oh, it's just an amazing meal. Now, full disclosure, while we only had it pressure cooking for five minutes the first time and one minute the second time, this dish will take about 35 to 40 minutes to make because you have to count in the amount of time it takes to build pressure and then release it. So all in all, it's a very hands-off type of meal. Really great, um, but we're not quite done yet. So we're gonna finish this off with just a quarter cup of butter, and I'm using salted butter. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder, as well as one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. Then we're gonna give it a little mix And we're gonna pour this all over, and we're gonna get it into the corn, the shrimp, the potatoes. This is just so good. It's like the cherry on top of a sundae. Okay, so, this meal is fantastic for just putting out, letting everyone dig in. It's a great eat with your hands type of meal or fork, whatever. I'm just gonna get a little bit of everything on my plate. Some shrimp, potatoes, some of those onions. Mmm. Ooh, can't forget the sausage. Oh yeah, look at that. So good. Okay. Oh, I cannot wait to dig into this. What should I eat first? Oh. First of all, these potatoes are gonna be perfectly cooked. So soft and tender. Mmm. Mmm. They just melt in your mouth. Mmm, so good. Let me show you the shrimp. Let me put my plate down. So I like to just grab onto the peels and I pull it down by its feet, <laughs> its little legs, and then pinch and then got my shrimp. Ready? Mmm. 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 Bring plenty of napkins to the party, guys, because this is good. Oh my gosh. I can't wait for you guys to give this Instant Pot Shrimp Boil a try. Go ahead and check this recipe out on iwashyoudry.com as well as many more fantastic Instant Pot recipes just like this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You know, I could do that.